Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. Do you love jasmine rice but can never get your jollof to be as single grain as this? Well, today I'm going to share my secrets with you and you will never have mushy jasmine jollof rice again. Let's get started. In a pot, add in some oil. I'm using coconut oil. Y'all you know I love it. And today we're using sausages for this recipe. And it is inspired by a beautiful little girl I want to meet once I'm in Ghana. I'll mention the channel that I heard her cooking her jollof on in our special to today and we'll just fry it until it begins to brown and then we'll go ahead and add in our onions yes usually i'll remove the sausages before i'll add my onion but this time we'll fry it until our onions are translucent and it has infused our sausages with a beautiful flavor and then we'll separate it you can cut your onions a little bigger so it'll be easier for you to separate your sausage from your onions my family does not like to see onions so i always cut them very small or blend it once that is done we're going to go ahead and add in our tomato paste yes our homemade tomato paste and i'll mia it into my onion and oil okay we'll then stir and allow this to fry beautifully i always encourage my sweet team to fry their tomato paste very very well this will help your stew taste super delicious and in turn your jollof will taste delicious as well today's special twos goes to na ashele and her beautiful niece who inspired this recipe na adole you did so well in your voiceover and we love you our tomato paste have fried beautifully so we'll add in some chopped up habanero pepper one green marinade and our homemade tomato sauce if you don't have your homemade i suggest you use the traditional ragu come back and thank me okay use ragu for this recipe if you don't have your homemade tomato sauce i'll season it with some shrimp powder and some of our natural spice mix if you don't have this don't worry you may use any seasoning of your choice i'll add in some bay leaves give everything a good good stir cover it up and allow it cook until oil settles on top of our stew which will be an indication that it is done or almost done at this point we'll add in our sausages and i'm adding in some chicken seasoning as well stir everything together i gave our stew a taste and it was missing a little something can you guess our homemade spice mix yes so a dash of that and finish it off with some curry powder oh my goodness this too was ready for any rice or banku you want to enjoy with it but today is jollof so we're not going to pressure our stew at all we'll give it a good good stir and then we'll go ahead to wash some rice i know some people don't like washing their rice but it is always good to wash your rice until the water runs clear which will take out some of the starch that may cause it to become sticky okay so yes and before you add in your rice always take part of the stew and set aside just in case your stew is too much for the rice because too much stew will also cause your rice to be mushy once we've added in our rice this is a very important stage of your rice cooking, especially if you're using a non-stick pot like me. But any pot you use, using this trick would help you. We're going to stir fry or stir cook our rice until the rice has absorbed all the stew once it absorbs the stew it's going to become super sticky do not worry keep stir frying or stir cooking it and eventually 
it'll separate beautifully so as you can see right here i didn't add no water i didn't add any more stew but it's super sticky so we're going to continue to stir until it begins to separate now while doing this you can take a break at intervals cover your rice and allow it sit on medium low heat for about a minute or two and then you open it back up and stare once you're done staring you cover it again for a minute or two and then you open it back up and stare you will do this until your rice begins to look translucent almost as if it's cooked this should take about four times to get there and when you get ready to add your water we would be adding in hot water but the trick is to add the water just until you see it in the corners of your pot and that is it do not attempt to add enough water to be the same level or above the level of the rice because at this point the rice is already halfway cooked so you just give it a stir and do not bang your spoon to the pot just get rid of any excess rice on the spoon cover with a parchment paper and then the lid allow it to steam for about 10 to 15 minutes and when you come back the rice should be ready but when using a non-stick pot we're cooking on medium between low and high not medium low not medium high between low and high by the time you come back it should be ready but when using a non-stick pot you may have to stir it once or twice before it is ready and as you can see it is looking like it's ready and it is not sticky at all another tip try cooking your jollof rice in a wide pot like i'm using because this will free up your rice to fluff up beautifully and it also help you stir it easily to keep it from becoming mushy so after we stirred and covered it up we allowed it cook for about eight to ten minutes and the rice is ready it turned out beautifully and it's as single grained as we all always want it except for my husband who loves mushy jollof rice so if you love mushy jollof rice then this is not for you you can add in more water you can follow the same steps but add a little more water but as you can see just absolutely beautiful and delicious you can add in veggies but not in this house i may end up eating it alone and i have my pre-seasoned frozen chicken that we would be pairing this with that will go into our air fryer to do its thing and then all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy and i'm serving it this way so that you can see how beautifully single grained it is all are invited to enjoy this deliciousness with me and of course we must always add a boiled egg here in this house <laughs> if you've enjoyed me until now i do want to thank you so very much why not let me know where you're watching from and i'll give you a special too in our next recipe until i see you in the next one stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all